Welcome to How to Make a Great Presentation. I am Aditya. I am Parvi. And I am Myra. We all study in class 6 at the Ryan International School, Rohini. You are probably here because you are planning to participate in the All India Ryan Championship, the Young Malala Contest. The Young Malala Contest is about learning from famous role models to find inspiration and guidance for our own lives. In this video, we will show you 5 easy steps to make a great presentation. Choose, Research, Structure, Design and Practice. Please don't skip any step or change the order. It's important to follow all 5 steps in this order. The presentation skills you learn today will help you in your entire school life. Friends, remember, great presentation starts with great planning. Start by spending some time getting to understand your audience. Your information should be exciting for them. Look out for facts that they don't know yet. In simple words, after your presentation, the audience should feel, Wow, I have learned something new. For the Young Malala contest, we have a clear task at hand. You have to make a 4 minute presentation about your role model. Your role model has to be famous. First, it can be a person or a character. Two, from past or present. Three, from anywhere in the world. Let's begin with step one, choosing the role model. If you already have a role model, that's great. Students who don't have a role model, this is the right moment to choose one. Any famous person or character that has really impressed you and you would like to find out more about him or her. You could also think about the challenges you have faced in the past. Look for a famous person who has mastered similar challenges. It can be anyone from whom we can learn. Someone who inspires us to become the best version of ourselves. Also, while choosing the role model, keep in mind the person or character should interest your audience. After all, the presentation is for them. Once you have chosen your role model, it's time to begin step 2. Research. Start with collecting information about their lives, their childhood, what makes them special, how have they impacted the society, what can we personally learn from them. For my research, I used Google, Wikipedia and browse different websites. Online search is quick and easy. Whatever results you find, you should double check with different websites. You want to share knowledge, make sure it's correct. I also refer to books, magazines and newspapers. I took printouts and underlined the most interesting fact. I collect all the research at one place to have a good overview. Then I compared my results and decided the content I want to keep and not to keep. Always remember the presentation is for your audience. Focus on what's interesting for them. Once we know what to keep from our research, we are ready to go to step 3. Structure the presentation. For structuring the presentation, keep in mind a presentation always has three parts. The beginning, the middle and an end. In the beginning, you have to introduce yourself and let the audience know who you are and what your presentation is about. The middle part is by far the biggest. This is where you present all your results. You have to structure and split your information into slides. This part is complicated and you should take enough time for it. It's like designing and planning a house first before you start building. I usually create quick sketches. Write in each slide the content I want to talk about. If you have too much information on one slide, better make two slides. Yes, think your presentation is a movie and you are telling a story. The last part is very easy. In the end, you have to give a summary. The most important information your audience should remember. और आखिर में थैंक यू बोलना मत भूलिए टू ऑफिशियली क्लोज योर प्रेजेंटेशन वंस वी आर रेडी विद द बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ आवर प्रेजेंटेशन वी नो व्हाट वी वांट टू शो एंड से विद ईच स्लाइड 
We are ready for step 4 designing the presentation with PowerPoint. Keep in mind what matters is the speech. Slides are just a visual tool to support your story. For making slides, there are a few basic rules that you should know about. Never overload your slide with a lot of text and just read it. Never use pictures or animations only to support your speech. As we all know, a picture may say more than a thousand words. Choose font size and colors that the audience can read easily. Never stretch the images as it looks very unprofessional. Rest is up to you. Be creative. Now is also the time to finalize your speech. Write down what you want to say for each slide. It can be complete sentences or just bullet point. This list is only for your reference when you give your presentation. Well, what works the best for me is to write down my entire speech. Voila! We are ready with the speech and slides. Now we go to the last step, number 5. It's practice, practice and then practice again. Please read your script along with your slide and see how it flows. Better is to record yourself and see if you like it or it needs changes. Make sure to speak slowly and clearly. Or akhir mein kisi se feedback lena mat bhulega. Find someone who will listen to your presentation and give you honest feedback. Or ha feedback acha na ho to dil pe mat lijiyega. Just practice your speech again. Friends, we are done with the five steps of making a great presentation. We hope these tips will help you. For more inspiration, you can also check out the four example videos mentioned in the description below. Friends, go and create some awesome presentations for the Young Malala contest. If you enjoyed our video, please like, share and subscribe. We wish you all the best for your preparations and looking forward to seeing you online. Thanks for watching. Bye.